Hi teacher tribe, happy Monday. Welcome back to a brand new week. My name is Allison Jones. For those who are new, I am a second grade teacher in Treasure Coast, Florida. For those who are returning, thank you for being a part of the teacher tribe. If you're not already a part of the teacher tribe, just simply click that subscribe button and join the tribe. So today is Monday, April 17th, April 17th, and it is just past dismissal time. <sighs> Remember to take a breath. So I don't know if it was because of the bad weather today, but I had three friends out. Um, one has been out all of last week. Thought she was coming back today. I I don't know her status. Um, and the other two, nobody has said anything to me. I haven't heard from any parents. So I don't know what's going on. But I had three out today. Um, it was regular schmegular day. Um, today was Unit 8, Week 3, Day 1. So we read our second extended read story, did, did our metacognitive worksheet, where they really just work on it on their own. And then I did the CFU. I, well, I did it myself, just so I know what their CFU answers are supposed to be. But whenever it's like this, because it's writing down their learning and their understanding, I just kind of read what they write to make sure it makes sense. So that was that. We did that, and then we did our... I keep drawing blanks. We did that. Then we did our mm, blueprint. Ah, oh, the blueprint for last week's story. So I told you all in last week's video that the blueprint we are supposed to do at the end of every story. So here is the blueprint. Nothing is on this because this is my magazine, but um, I fill it in virtually for the kids on the board and they copy it from the board. So, but that was the blueprint that we do. So we're doing last week's story for week two. Um, so that's what we did for reading. For math today, we did 14-2. So we're learning about t using a tally chart to create a pictograph, which we did a little bit when we did the introduction to the unit or to the topic. Um, so we got to do it again. So we they gave us a bunch of data. We had to take the data, put it into a tally chart, and then take the tally chart and turn it into a pictograph. Very easy. They had fun with it, especially when we got to go around the class and survey our classmates before we were able to move on and use the data that was given to us. So good day in math. And then of course writing, we had a few people start writing their official pages in our class book. So altogether, it was a pretty decent day. There's never enough time in the day to actually continue working on it, but we got a lot done today. So all smiles over here. I cannot complain. The kiddos were, they didn't, they didn't lose any time today. So I'm going to count that as a win. I don't think I have anything else to update you for today. So I'm going to wrap it up. I'll see you all tomorrow for Tuesday. Bye, Teacher Tribe. Hi, Teacher Tribe. Welcome back. Today is ooh, Tuesday, Tuesday, April 18th, and it is just past dismissal time. <sighs> Remember to take a breath. So guess what happened today? My friend that was out all of last week and yesterday came back today. And then guess what? She went home early. <laughs> when they called me saying she's going home for dismiss, I said, are you serious? And then the office lady laughed because I guess when they called for her brother to leave, the, that, the fifth grade teacher said the same thing. I'm like, she's literally in the middle of catching up on a test. Like she was sitting right here at my small group table while I was teaching, catching up on a test. She's like, I'm like, she, she's literally catching up on a test. Like, I, I don't know what, to, why is she leaving? She's like, do you want to come talk with mom? I'll come into the room. I was like, yes, please. So I hung up, went to the door. She came in and I went and spoke with mom. I'm like, look, mom, I know she was sick last week, but she's catching up on a test right now. Does she, do you have to leave right now? Like, can she finish the test she's doing? Mom said she was trying to give me some excuse about why she was picking him up early. Honestly, I was kind of trying to, okay, 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 yeah, okay. So when she's done, I'll send her to the office. So mom let her finish her test. Because at the time when mom was trying to pick her up, she was on four out of 15 on this math exam. I want to say mom waited a good 20, 25 minutes for her to finish. But when she was finished, she submitted it, still failed it. But <laughs> she had her time. She was able to, she actually double checked her answers and everything and submitted it and ended up with a 20 something percent but you can only do so much and I did a mini review with her before I put her on too so this is why
why it's important for her to be in school because now anywho i don't have much time before i have to go but she came she got caught up in a few things um including that test that she was able to finish <sighs> whoops <laughs> i don't know what to tell you guys but anywho that was that um everything else was pretty smooth i had one who was also out since yesterday well two that were out since yesterday i hope they're okay they're probably sick too um i had another one who mom messaged me saying she's not coming in today because she wasn't feeling good so i'm like oh something's going around i almost wiped the room down again but didn't do it might do it tomorrow especially since tomorrow's early release maybe we'll do it tomorrow and then i had one who was here for maybe i don't even think she was in my class so the first half hour <laughs> Good afternoon. All tutoring and club students should be in their designated hallways at this time. Again, all tutoring and club students should be in their designated areas. Okay, so at this time. I gotta go. And remember, students, voice level is a zero. Okay, so as I was saying, um, one student she does check in and check out because of behavior so during her check-in the first 30 minutes while we're doing announcements and check-in and when i say check-in i mean like our little circle up stuff re reading log all that good stuff she's doing check-in with her her behavior person so she doesn't officially come into my room until 9 9 15 she has not come back i called for her she left at nine like normal i'm like where is she call the office office says she's in the clinic why why is she in the clinic i don't know i will transfer you to her Spoke with the nurse. We have a temporary nurse currently in there. Spoke with the nurse. Nurse is like, yeah, she's here. She claims a part of her stomach is hurting her. I said, okay, hang up the phone. Maybe 10 minutes after that, she walks in here, starts packing up her things. She looks at me, she says, I'm going home. I'm like, what the, really? No type of communication. No note from the nurse, nothing. So I call the nurse again. Hi, is so-and-so going home? Oh yes, yeah, she's going home. Okay, thank you for communicating that with me hung up the phone like come on now <sighs> anywho so that friend left she was not even in my my class for five minutes but she was at school for maybe about 45 minutes to an hour she left everything else was pretty smooth i gotta go you guys heard the announcement i will see you all tomorrow tomorrow is an early release day so i should be able to catch you up before um we have our meetings and everything else so until tomorrow bye teacher tribe Hi, Teacher Tribe. Happy Hump Day. Today is Wednesday, April 19th, and it is, it is past dismissal time. <laughs> Remember to take a breath. So it is almost two o'clock and I have it was early release. I don't remember if I said that to you yesterday. I think I did. But today was early release. This kids left about one o'clock this afternoon. And then we had a quick meeting um where we had to take a survey and we got a few updates on things and then she actually released us i'm thinking for the remainder of their contractual hours we have to be in here working grading papers whatever it is we may have to do she gave us a self-care pd where we can do those things wherever our heart may desire so everyone left <sighs> had i known in advance i would not have scheduled a virtual conference that i am waiting for currently so Best believe my bags are ready. <laughs> when this conference is done, these papers I've been waiting to grade and things, I might just take them home and do them at home. Or maybe I'll just stay and get them done. I don't know, haven't fit, made up my mind. My bags are ready, but I did purposely put things off for today during this time. So I don't know, teeter-tottering with that information. But on a brighter note, I have this virtual conference already set up. I'm just waiting on mom to sign on. And I'm super excited because this is one of those kids that I may be retaining and I have not heard from these parents the whole school year. Every time we try and set up a conference virtually, because at their request, they don't sign on. So I confirmed with mom, she got the email, she got the invitation. So hopefully in the next four minutes, I'll have her signing on, but I'm excited for that. Um, one of my people who were out all this week turns out she had pink eyes so guess what we did today we cleaned up again but she's back with a doctor's note so all is well with her um i think everyone else has returned except for one i had one friend who hasn't been here all week hopefully he'll be here tomorrow in terms for the sake of our book we need to get his paper done 
the book is going to be the death of me the student treasures book which we've had for a while but because we were doing our um our pen pals that got kind of got pushed back now that pen pals are done we had two weeks last week and this week to get it done and i'm a little agitated at the fact that it's still taking so long for so many people to finish so i can get them to rewrite it give them their little phone for them to decorate i think i have maybe half the class we got a lot done today i will say that because it was early release and we had writing in the morning and then i used content time to also work a little bit more on writing so we didn't get a lot done today um let me show you the cover of the book because I did it today. So here is the cover of our book. So it's similar to what we did last year because my kids wanted to kind of copy that theme, but I changed it up a little bit. So we're calling our book Second Grade Selfies. So they're writing a poem about themselves, how they feel in second grade. Like I feel, I believe, I pretend, I understand, I wonder, just different things about them in second grade. And then um for the selfie part for their picture because it's a, their writing and their picture so when you open it it's them their page so the writing everyone has the same format and then the picture i trace a a cell phone just like what you saw and then i hand it to them and they can do whatever they want with their cell phone the goal though since it's a selfie they're supposed to draw themselves in the phone and then they can decorate the phone and around the phone blah 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 so Fingers crossed, some of them are looking okay. <laughs> I know we're not all artists, but they're coming out pretty good. Um, but to, besides that, it was a regular day. It's just everything was shortened. We didn't have small group, we didn't have MTSS. Um, and we had lunch pretty late. Lunch was 25 minutes before dismissal. So yeah, it was a pretty good day. I can never complain when it comes to early release, but back to reality tomorrow, back to tutoring tomorrow. So we're going to pray that this parent signs on in the next two minutes and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye teacher tribe.